my top five favorite Camtasia tools and features. So I've been using Camtasia for 10 plus years, back when it was Camtasia version six or seven. And I've literally edited over 2000 videos both for our own YouTube channel and for clients. So I've been using the software for a while. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Essatino Media. I show you guys how to create profitable content. All right, so in this video, it's a fun one. I'm gonna share over the years, my top five current favorite tools on Camtasia. Now every year it does change because when they release a new version, oftentimes there's new features. Starting it off at number five is clip speed. So if you don't know what clip speed is, it basically allows you to either fast forward or slow down your footage. I mainly use this to slow down footage and I usually use it when I'm making like a joke or something. All right, just arrived to Whistly Bungee. To Whistly Bungee. And I'm gonna be jumping off of that thing up there. Favorite tool number four is Media Mat. This came out in the 2021 version and it allows you to do this. You see how I'm in the small circle here? Prior to 2021 version and prior to 2020 version, you had to do this manually and it was kind of confusing and you really had to know Camtasia to do it. And even in the 2020 version, there was also a different way to do it. But now they've simplified it and now you just do media mat. You just drag down media mat along with the shape that you want and then you can fit inside that shape. Number three is the color LUT and the color adjustment. So it's these two put together. They are different tools. The color LUT they introduced in 2021. They're basically like preset filters. And if you don't know what they are, I do have a tutorial in the description about how to use and get free LUTs. Basically, they're like a filter, like almost like Instagram, where you have your different filters on there for your photos. I find that combining the color LUTs and the color adjustment tool, it makes the color correction process a little bit more advanced than what it was starting out. And it definitely improves the color in my videos. Favorite tool number two is screencast recording. So this right here, how I'm able to record myself and the screen at the same time. They were one of the first softwares to do this, that you were an editing software and a screencast recording software at the same time. Prior, you had to get a separate screencast recording software, record it on that thing, and then import it into your video editing software. And it makes it so easy because I just do these tutorials that are mainly on the computer. And then when I'm done, it's already in Camtasia. It's already in the media bin. All right, and number one favorite feature slash tool on Camtasia is the favorites tab. I love that we can favorite other features, other tools, other things that we use, and it goes into its own tab. I don't use everything on Camtasia, when you've been editing for this long, there are certain things that you gravitate towards, certain things that you use for, you know, the videos that we edit all the time. And since they introduced the favorites tab, you can just click star on the top right corner, favorite it, it goes into your favorites tab and all the stuff you want is right there. It saves you so much time. You don't really realize it. When you're having to do, you know, three, four video edits a week or more, all these little things add up, trying to go find that feature, where it is, remembering where it is. So it saved me a ton of time and I'm so glad that they introduced that. A couple features that I hope they introduce in the future is the ability to do reverse footage or the rewind effect. I think that would be cool when I'm doing vlogs and stuff. And in the future, 
I hope we'll be able to mask out certain things on your footage like you can with really advanced editing softwares. Like for example, if I didn't want something showing on the screen, I could, you know, create a mask and remove it. That would be really cool. Fingers crossed. So those are my top five favorite tools as of now, February 2022 in Camtasia. Comment down below with your favorite tools and features in Camtasia. I'd love to read them. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.